before and it worked great. Uh, I did have to have somebody from your team um, code something in and then, um, but it was able to at least show up um, and it got triggered by a tag. I had my listing tagged with a, a certain thing and then whenever I click preview or whenever, you know, customer would go to the website, they were able to see the app come up this time when I've tried that, this is months later. Um, I have a tag that's supposed to trigger the app and it's just not showing up and I do not know why. Can you please provide me any product URL or your store URL so that I can check? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I have the, the product in draft mode because I don't want my customers to try to buy it right now. Um, but I can give you the store URL. So okay. the Shopify store is shop royalty soaps. Uh, can you please the... write that down on the comment box? Sure. This is my first time using Google Meet. So, okay. oh, here we go. Okay, let me check. Please hold on. Okay. Okay, so may I know uh, which product is under multivariance rule set? Like I can see that you have one rule set that is uh, you, are, you have assigned this with a tag. Mm -hmm. uh, so the tag is two for 20 and the product is called two soaps for $20. Is it Do just I need one to take... product? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's one product. Uh, can you please make that um, active for a moment so that I can check from my end? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's active. Okay, now let me just reload the page. Uh, uh, what's the product name? The product name is Two soaps, like the number two, two soaps for twenty dollars. For okay. I'll put that in the okay, Google Meet. I'm on the product page now. So can I share my screen? Sure. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, so now I'm on your product page. Okay. So can you please uh, tell me... Uh, <laughs> what the issue is? Yeah, yeah. that's not how mine looks. Uh, yeah, so I'll there is this. an issue. Uh, we need to like hide this section. Yes, we do. And I, and I just clicked on preview for my from my end and i can share my screen with you so you can see what i'm talking about but the uh that list the way that multivariance shows up as a list is not yeah. showing up on my end at all uh can you uh go to the active side and check uh i think i'm not sure but if i'm not wrong uh it, it's it's supposed is it's not supposed to show on the preview link i'm not sure but can you please check this link sure Sure, will do. I yeah, that's weird. Yes, it is showing up for for the link that you sent me. Okay, so it works for the active like active product. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so. 
uh please hold on i'm sharing my screen again okay okay so to hide these options uh uh-huh. we need your theme and product uh access so is okay. it okay if i send you the collaboration request sure okay please hold on oh i can see that uh, we already have your access so yeah. uh, we just uh, i will talk to my technical team and they will hide these options for you okay perfect okay so uh, is there anything else that uh, i can help yeah. so for specifications um i think this is under general settings and you can just help me understand this uh so uh, in the multivariance app under general settings it says okay. global cart restrictions you can see on the website i've said there um you know i want two soaps at least so on those settings in the multivariance app is it items or quantity that i'm setting the minimum to 2 uh let me share my screen again oh, or or you can share your screen and show me or guide okay. me okay Okay, you are talking about the global card restrictions, right? That's right. Yeah, they won't let me sh- uh, share my screen right now. Um No, I can see your screen right now. Can you? Okay. Yeah. So, Great. uh you're talking about the global card restrictions. Um uh I think uh this is not what you want because the global card restriction is for the overall card like uh the uh, like it will be applied to overall product and your customers cannot check out unless they have like purchased that minimum items or that minimum quantity right so i don't think you need these kind of restrictions because uh on your product two soaps for $20 these glo- uh, this global card restriction will not be applicable to this uh, product it will be applicable to your whole store I so see. uh you need uh you need a minimum quantity restrictions uh that's okay. uh that is available from our professional package so if you have uh if you upgrade your package to professional then you mm-hmm. if you go to the set restrictions option okay let me go ahead and upgrade that okay Okay. If you go to the set restrictions options. Mhm. Now you will see this quantity restrictions option. Now from here, gotcha. uh you can uh, ap- uh apply the minimum quantity restrictions uh too. So, okay. do you want that uh the customers uh will not be able to buy uh less than 2 or and more than 2? Like do you want something like this? And no, I just need it. So can you still see my screen? Yeah. Okay. so it should just be the minimum is 2 okay then as uh, many then on the maximum quantity is filled uh you need to insert 9999 like or okay. 9999 per option 9999 and total combination 999 okay now if you save the changes and you then don't, this one uh, down no, here no, you don't have to do anything now if okay. you save the changes and go to your product page on that product if you reload the page uh-huh can you go to that product that i have sent you on the link right you're not able to see my screen oh uh, yeah <laughs> your screen is hanged yeah okay so uh, uh let me share my screen and show you 
total price. This says the total price must be at least $30. Okay. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so now on on your product page. Okay. So also we need to apply the faster loading. Okay. Okay. So if I you see, uh, good to go total quantity. Good to go. Okay. Now um, you can if add. you click minus on that one time, when whenever I did this before. Uh, okay, click minus again on that one. The total quantity must be at least two. The selected unit is zero. Okay, and you can perfect. see both of the add to cart and checkout button is disabled. Right. Okay. So the customers can buy as many as they want, but they have to purchase at least two. Right. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, if I go to the cart page, please hold on. Let me see okay. something. Now, if I go to your cart page, yes, I can see the cart restriction is also not applied. So, I can, your customers can remove the quantity. So, we, our technical team need to apply the cart restrictions too. So, I will talk to our team about these issues. They will work on your store and uh, email you the updates. Oh, uh, uh, please provide your email address here so that we can email you. Okay. Okay, so our technical team will email you on this email address. So is there anything else that I can help? Uh no, I don't think so. Thank you. This is very helpful.